In this video, we will learn how we can copy and paste very quickly content from one cell into multiple cells. So before we continue, let me just delete this information here. And then if I want to copy this information in cell 3, C3, over to these other cells, it's very, very easy. So I'm going to select the cell C3 and I'm going to then copy this value. So you can use, you can copy the value from a cell either using the menu here and say copy. If I can click it, it'll copy or I can also use right click on the cell C3 and I then select copy or I can also use the keyboard shortcut control and C. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. So control C would copy this value. So you can see here, these are called the dancing ants. This visual tells you that this cell C3 is now being copied. So it is copied and now where do you want to paste it? So I'm going to select cell C4 and I'm going to use the shortcut for pasting information, which is control V, and that will paste this information over here. And you can see here that this C cell C3 seems to be still, still copied and the dancing ants are still there. So I can click on cell C5 and I can paste again, control V, go here to cell C6, control V, C7, control V. So we were able to paste exactly whatever was here and then we pasted into these other cells using control V. Pasting can also be done by clicking here on the paste menu item here, or you could also right click any cell and then I can ch choose paste. And you can see here in the right click menu, there are so many options for paste and you can also see the same options when you click here on the paste special and this opens up a dialog box where you can choose the different types of pastes. For example, by default, everything will be pasted, formulas, formats, values in the cell, everything. And that's why you saw that the hardcover value with the blue thick top border was copied over and pasted into other cells. You could also choose, for example, I want to only paste the formats or I want to paste only the values. In this case, if we want only the values to be pasted, we would use paste special and then choose values. So let me go back now and also show you that these paste options are also available here. When you click paste, you see all the paste special or different types of paste values. And if you click again here on the paste special, you'll come up with the same dialog box. So there are different ways of getting to this dialog box for paste special. One thing you should be aware of is Excel gives you a lot of control over what you want to paste. I'm going to click cancel now and let me undo the last few things that we did. So we are still back now to just having selected cell C3. And this copy and paste operation is one of the most often repeated function that you're going to be using in Excel when you're dealing with lots of data. Because there's always an opportunity to move data from one place to another and you're going to copy and paste a lot. We can also use this method. For example, I have selected control C, cell C3, and I can just paste very quickly into all these four cells without having to do one by one. I can select all of them and then I can use control V to paste. So you can paste into multiple cells as well. And since we only have cell C3 selected, it's going to paste cell C3's content and the formats into these other four cells. Let me undo and let's use one of the paste special methods. So paste, and you can see all these different methods here. And the first one is the default, but the next one will paste only the formulas. We don't have that yet, but let's look at this option here, paste values. 
and I can just paste values by clicking that and now Excel is only pasted the values and not the format. So the formats are not copied over only the values and this is kind of what we want. Another thing that's related to the copying and pasting I want you to know are the options about clipboard. So for example when I have cell C3 selected it's actually saved in Excel's memory and you can see what all Excel is saving in its memory here by looking at the clipboard and you can open the clipboard by clicking this little arrow here and this will open up Excel's clipboard and in this case we only have one value that has been copied so after as soon as you copy it is going to store it here and you can store up to 24 items here and let's say I want to copy the author name here I'm going to select cell b3 and I'm going to click Control c and now that you can see Jawaharlal Nehru which is the content in cell b3 has now been copied and added to our clipboard and keep in mind that the last copied value or last copied cell would be what gets pasted if I'm going to paste anything anywhere. And you can also see this dancing ants around the cell which tells that this cell has now been copied and if I'm going to click anywhere else and I use control V it is going to paste cell B3 into cell C9. And I can do undo to get out of that. So what you need to know is Excel is storing all these items that you're copying and you can easily insert any of those by, for example, directly click on this value. Excel will actually paste that into the selected cell. So this is a very quick way of capturing a lot of items so that you can easily paste them wherever you would like. So I'm going to now close the clipboard and undo the last thing I did because I don't want to type hardcover here.